Hello everybody. <clears throat> this is my new moon for the first time forecast. <laughs> I'm, I'm a few hours ahead of the new moon. It's coming in in about five hours. It'll be here about five something this morning. Um, it is now 1237 today. I know I'm right here with the new moon. The energy around here has been off the chain. We've been playing some good music. Um, I love that song. It's a marvelous night for a moon dance. I've been singing, moon, you know, listening to moon dance. Um, you name it, anything that kind of moves me. It's been on, on point tonight. So, let's talk about it real quick. I want to, I'm telling you, I was so heavily impacted by our last full moon two weeks ago. Me, heavily. It was coming in on the 27th, and I had energy jumping from that moon way before that. Okay? The energy around it was so intense, and I learned so many things. I was definitely one of those people as a spiritualist who left with a clarification about a process that I had been kind of, that I knew but was kind of slacking on and finally put it in play and, and, and understand it quite a bit more. Um, going, I don't know how many people went to the doctor. I went to the doctor. I don't know how many people fought for sleep. Honey, it was a demand. There was no, I mean, I was pushing it, burning the wicks at both ends. And finally, I just said, I'm going to sleep. Good night for whatever. Okay, just no more. I got to get my rest. Um, and that's how it really applied to me. For those who were looking for jobs, they should have got their jobs by brute force. These are people who are putting in applications. And I'm just telling you, that moon. I remember that reading so heavily because I was just like, wait, wait a minute, what just happened here? This had nothing to do with me as far as being um, just, you know, an all-around bath maker, a person who works um, rituals and um, working with Arisha and things like that. This moon was just its own energy because I work with it frequently, very frequently. So... Let's get ready to see what the new moon is getting ready to bring in. What it's bringing us. How we're going to get through it. You know. Um, Let's go and see what's going to happen here. It's a different one. Yep. Off the bat, there's immediately two messages here. Be grounded in your processes no matter what. Stay very close to the planet that you live on. Respect the the tides of the ocean. Respect where you live. Respect um, how you have to put your trash out. Respect this planet. Respect um, the parks. Respect water. Respect animals. Respect human beings. Respect um, birds. Respect, but just respect this planet that you live on, that is the first message. You're saying get grounded, get in there, and sense, and not be so aloof and apart from what it is that you live on. That's number one. Okay. 
people have been praying for Hail Marys and they've been fighting. They're in the middle of a big fight. I feel like right now this is um, actually potentially a spiritual war. I don't think that this is just about fighting for materials. That is not what I'm saying. Yeah. People are asking for Hail Marys. Some pretty big energies. And they're doing it in solitude. They're like, <laughs> and, and they're getting ready to go back into solitude. They just came out of it, and they're getting ready to go back in. They've been stepping up their process. Like in the past, it was kind of a, a process of, oh, I'm doing a little bit of something, something. Well, now they're starting to bring out the big dogs, honey. The big guns, the big dogs are coming out for this one. It's okay. I don't know who it is that's on it. I don't know which side this is coming from. But I'll tell you right now, the way it looks, cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Spiritually cleanse yourself. When I say those cleanse yourself three times, I'm talking about the same time. Same type of cleansing. Spiritually cleanse yourself. Okay? Um, for those who believe that prayer is spiritually cleansing, be in prayer consistently and constantly. Thank you. For those that believe in baths, I expect you in a bath at least once every week until the full moon. For those that believe, who don't believe, I still ask you to cleanse yourself. Like, if it's just detoxing, get, cleanse yourself. Seriously, cleanse yourself. If, they, if you're a person that exfoliates, this is the time to exfoliate, okay? <laughs> you don't believe in, in the rest of this. The, cleanse yourself, okay? Because this ain't this, this new. Mm -mm. Boom! Yo, y'all. Yo. Okay, if you have to schedule readings, this is the time to get a reading schedule. <laughs> okay, schedule a reading with whomever your person is that you go to. If you need to schedule with me, it's www.bathingandherbs.com. Um, reach out to me there, and I will definitely put you on the schedule with in regards to um, readings. Definitely. Okay. There's some big changes coming as a result of this moon. Big changes. The last moon, I need to say again, rung, rung, rung you out. But it also, pardon me, I have to, pardon me. But it also gave you tools to use to know how to get through things. So, you know how to get through the things now. Make sure that you do the work. You know how to get through. That means a step-by-step -step was given to you. Do the work. Oppression should not be in your future, but quite frankly, I see it there for quite a few people because they're just not listening. They're doing what they want to do. They want peace through not doing nothing. That's just not how this works. You got to do the work. You get the point where right now, oh, I don't like giving this message. You got to you gotta get in touch with somebody to get some work done. Get in touch. Get a reading. Cleanse yourself, please. Okay. That is the true. Um, I need to address that because I feel like somebody's gonna watch this. Like, she gonna even talk about that? Yes, that is the true nature of spirituality spirituality is not just about happiness and fun and moon dances and and candles and um genteel messages from spirit um sometimes it comes to rock your world switch things up and bring you um different results than just different results
These super moons came here. They did not come, as Beyonce said in the song, Formation, to play. Okay, period. It just, it, how am I saying the whole thing? They, it did not come to play. As I say this, there's a whole contingent of people that this is not going to touch at all. I can see that plain and simple.